Alright guys, welcome back, welcome back. I believe it's episode 19 of uh, Solo to Champ. We got a full PlayStation lobby for our first game on. Um, I did get a little bit of uh, recommendations for ops, but I think I'm going to push that back to actually next episode. I think for this episode, I'm actually going to straight up just try to kind of pick the, my comfort ops and I guess ops that we need and I see being useful in every scenario. So I think that's kind of like... Um, a video that some people may, might have been wanting to see more often than the other ones where I place these suggested ops and they're kind of just like ops that aren't really necessarily good and ops that they would see as good either so I think like I thought of just making I don't know some just like video like this where I actually just play better ops or like I guess what I feel like playing you know um it'll be a little bit of more perspective I guess to the way I play and maybe something that you want to like I guess replicate um so yeah probably gonna play a lot of like twitch I guess in today's episode because I was actually yeah I was reading a comment um and somebody was asking how uh, should I play ops based on my statistics on them and that's a very that's a good question I think um, because it's like um, oh I have a high win percentage with this op so does that mean that should be the op I fall back to um, whenever I like am in a drought I guess of like winning rounds or something and I think it's a good idea to have one of those ops that you can always be comfortable on and like it's like oh I'm not doing good right now so I'm gonna I'm gonna play my my op I guess my comfort pick um, it, I guess it depends maybe you always play your comfort pick or maybe you are a flex player that support player that doesn't always get to pick uh, what you want to choose because you're a support player and um, yeah I think I think it's a good Thing to bring up and it actually made me go look at my operator stats and look at like what my who my best operators were and obviously I think the like one of the best ones was just twitch I think I have like a 2.1 KD with twitch and I have like a 60 or 70 percent win rate with her I mean it kind of makes sense because I feel like twitch is my that is definitely my most uh, comfortable op uh, for me the way I play her, and I think um, a lot of people really like the way I play Twitch as well, especially because I'm not just straight up only gunning. Um, I do have a lot of confidence with her gun, but I do like to use her drones a lot and to help out my teammates and stuff like that. My controller drift is already starting, bro. I was doing my warm up, like just doing the um, training stuff, the endless drill or whatever, and it, I didn't have any controller drift, and now it's already started back up. And this gun, damn, that's their mic on. So we're going to have to really adjust during this round into what play we do, do here. The mute jammer is on the other side. Okay. Watch, this dock is about to wide swing this or something. I thought he might actually do that. But, um... Oh, he's already in Top Shark. Yeah, so my teammate didn't even drone when he peeked that, or when he did that, so like, that already explains a lot right there. And so, 3v5 at the very beginning is not a good deal at all. We also have an AFK, and this guy ran out. I'm not gonna lie, I might just go and up and dry peek this without even droning to give myself away. i just seen one. Sell another one. Damn, like what is that timing? This warden just came out of nowhere. And, oh, they just knew I was there because they'd camp. Oh, what is that headshot, bro? I almost had the play, honestly. I think I think what I did was the right play, but obviously we just didn't have enough. So already a rough first round. Um, we gave up two first picks really, really fast. Sometimes I'll never really understand why my teammates kind of do like these fast plays. Well, like, no, nah, I understand it. Like, you kind of just want to try to just make a play without even droning and see if it works. Okay, cool. It didn't work, so don't do it again, basically, is what I'm saying. Um, Outback is an interesting map, I'm not going to lie, because I can play a ton of different ops here. Because 
Mm, actually, if they go party though, I think I want to go Twitch again. But if they go like um, green and red room, uh, Ram would be good, Jackal would be good, IQ would be good. Basically, people that would kind of like push up top and clear out roamers, because it's so important to play for vert control when you have uh, when they go green and red room. It's almost it's almost impossible to win if you don't have vert control. I believe they went party first too. Let's see if I could get my cam here in piano, because a lot of people for some reason love to play piano. Whenever I, I guess, push here. Oh, I dare put my drone on here. I feel like this is so defaulty, but I'm gonna put it here anyways. I think this is gonna, this is a drone that's gonna be easily found, but I'm gonna put it here anyways. Sounds like they have a sentry, unless it's a mozzie with commando. Yeah, look at my stick drift, guys. I'm not even moving it. <clears throat> One thing I haven't done in a while is actually go on Amazon and check <laughs> for the new stick modules, bro, because I need that. I'm, I'm in dire need of those right now. They have a bandit and we have an, uh, a thermite, so that's not good. I don't really know what's with people in like thermite for some reason. Being honest. Okay, we got first pick. The Sabana is just straight up going in. Maybe she was playing off of my cam. Yeah, I'm gonna twitch on. Wait, someone's close on you, Habana. Oh, good night. Good job, Habana. Barbed wire right here. She's just going straight through. Okay. I don't mind this. As long as she doesn't just die. Okay, so they do have a mozzie, so I can't even join her any further. But our Habana's just going in. I think one thing for me to do is kind of watch for flank. Yep. And that's the flank dead right now. And then Habana got another one. Wait, this is the, this is the Capital that rushed from last round, and he rushed again. But this time it worked. I think he was a bit more aware though this time because he actually heard that dock swinger and she just got she just won that out. And sometimes when you get that first kill on somebody, it means there's a gap that opens up because the the rest of the team trusted that this dock was going to be holding that side of the map and didn't worry about it. So once the dock died, the Habana went really fast in and before the enemy team could even like react to it, she just ends up killing more people. And like yeah. Um, our Thermite also got an entry frag, um, another spawn peak, and but this time put him down, which was really good. So that was a good round. And then, yeah, I was basically just trying to drone in for the Habana, try to clear out anything that she um, shouldn't with her, just her own eyes, you know? Because it's really good when you drone out people, even if you're not in comms. You can drone out any corner, yellow ping, red, red ping for, some, for something, and that's just going to be super helpful for them sometimes. Okay, so they have the Mira and Castle, so that means they're going to be actually holding in the hallway. So this is where we actually really need to get Vert here. And so I'm going to go Ram. I don't really like being the person on Ram, to be honest. I like playing more of the uh, like IQ, look for the Valk Cams, look for Pulse, look for Nitros and stuff. But I feel like none of my teammates were going to play Ram, so I don't mind her. Yeah, I'm going to send my drone here again. I think someone's up top, I don't know what that that was. I think that means someone's up top here. They haven't got the hatch yet. But they also have a vigil though, so that tells me that they're most likely going to be doing some sort of flank or playing up top, just something like that. And that girl ran out again. What's this Habana gonna do? Is she gonna is she gonna rush again? If she rushes up there, I oh, sorry. Okay, so oh, she got smoked. So this Habana's kinda playing with no care. So we kind of have to... Ooh, this guy got picked as well. So this is where it's really bad already. Just already off that. This guy's off. They're also playing cams when they're five men up. That's that's passionate and that's pretty good from the enemy team. And it's also good because we're losing bodies. I knew he was peeking those holes. I hear someone, yeah. Someone's definitely over here somewhere.
<laughs> oh my god. Almost a 1v5. <laughs> yeah, then no, this Vigil easily had to play there. Like, that was good from him, honestly. Because I just... Oh my god, bro. I was hitting my shots, but... Yeah, my teammates are just dying, just dying. <laughs> See, that's one of those things, again, where I don't understand. It's like, the default push is just take up top, guys. But my team just doesn't want to do that. You can tell the way my team is. So one thing I can try to do is also just try to run around, play aggressive, you know, really heavy swing. Because, you know, that's kind of the way my, te my team is playing right now. They're not really playing for strats, they're playing more for the kills and picks. And I would say it's not working, because we're down 1-2. So I'm going to try to go, go crutching pretty heavily this game, I guess. Because once again, I'm kind of the one that has the kills. Oh my god, I wasn't even moving my controller and just moved like that. Yeah, we also have a cab, so I don't really know. I don't really know how to feel about the cab, but we'll see. I should have killed that castle. I think if I killed that castle, that could have been winnable. The only problem is that they had the mirrors. And honestly, I didn't expect the vigil to be on that mirror, because the legion was just peeking off of it. So that was pretty interesting. So yeah, I, I might have I might have died even if I killed the castle, to be honest. God, look at this. Hold on. I, I gotta try to fix this, bro. I know that would probably give like some people some motion sickness or something, bro. There might have been a drone on me, but I'm gonna try this anyways. Usually a lot of people like to preset drones here, but... Let's see if I can try this anyways. How did this guy die so fast? I swear I saw another person, right? Maybe not. There's gonna be another person over here. Yeah, doing jump outs like that is just so good, bro. I'm surprised no one does it. Like, not more people. Put a, they put a claim on that, though, so. Well, Cavi's gonna get a, an interrogation, I think. Oh, never mind. There's someone outside these windows, bro. I want to jump out, but this cabbie is just running around, too. I probably should just play site. They're outside the, the breach. No, they're outside the window. <laughs> I got that down on her. This guy is so lit, bro. Yeah. Of course that Twitch leaves when I get when I down her. I don't know why people do that still. I should have gotten more aggressive for that ace, bro. I'm not gonna lie, I should be going super aggressive today. Cause I'm, you know, I'm already kind of popping off this first game. You can say I got like three, three picks or something that one round, but even if you take away those three picks, I'm still got, I, I still got five kills. It's kind of like, um, when you get like these type of teammates, it's kind of like, um, play, die before they die, type of thing. It's not like I'm telling you to throw away your body before they do, but it's kind of more like being the mentality that you're okay with throwing away your body first, because you know that your teammates are throwing away their bodies as well. So play with the mentality that you don't give a fuck. You don't, you don't care if you die. You just want to go swing them, try to get these kills before your teammates die on you, I guess. It's kind of a weird thing to say, but I think it's kind of a valid um, playstyle. Because obviously, I, I think a lot of people would agree that the way my teammates are playing is pretty shitty right now. But they're just... But it's, a, it's the way a lot of this like ranked style is nowadays. Kind of just play aggressive, win your ones. Whoever kills the person wins the gunfight or whatever. I don't know. It's all about... It's all about kills at the end of the day nowadays. You see a lot of people are doing the KD glitch because they care about their kills. Like, look, we're just running around the map. I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm, I'm yapping, I'm just running around the map. Who, who knows? I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> look, I'm gonna have to play sight because none of my teammates are. None of my teammates are even setting up as well. I 
to use my boss G to make some holes there. Or at least we have this rotate. We don't have this reinforced though. They're mining the wall. I don't like that I have to play on site right now. I don't like it. He actually was on that angle, bro. Oh my god. That's insane. Wait, what? He's seen me before I even, like, what? I swear I was quick peeking. He just easily just lined up the headshot on me. Fuck, man. Well, this doc is not aware. Ooh. Look at this bandit, bro. He's like, he doesn't even know what he's doing either. Dokubi is just gonna be in sight and killing this doc soon. Okay, good awareness from doc. Ah, but she, he's just he's just dead though. This bandit is like, look, look at how lost he is right now. Ooh, he even lost that one. Oh my god. Our whole team is in game chat, so they should be understanding if they want to really win, they gotta start playing it way better. Because how am I on vigil and I'm the one that's being forced into playing sight? That just makes no sense to me, guys. I'm top frag, so like. I don't know. In my opinion, it's like when you're top frag, you should have an ego and be like, why are you guys not playing sight for me? I'm kind of running around and killing people. Why can't you guys just play sight for me? I think it's okay to have egos like that sometimes. And that's kind of the way I feel right now. It's like, why, um, why am I picking vigil? My teammates see that I'm picking vigil, but they're going to force me to be the one that's kind of playing sight there. I want to go try to play more aggressive around some places. And also this bandit didn't even bandit trick. I'm gonna go I'm gonna take bandit from him so I can bandit trick. Fuck fuck fragging right now because I wanna win this game. My teammates don't wanna win, but I wanna win. Sometimes a lot of people will make a hole in these like walls um first before you reinforce them for better audio. I don't know if anybody knew that. If you ever see someone shotgun out a wall, like an outside wall first before they actually the What's it called? Before they actually like reinforce it, it's because you you well supposedly you get better audio. I honestly don't I can't really tell. I kinda just able to banish trick either way I'd say. But some people like it for the audio. I don't really like the fee holes there. The reason why I put the fee holes on this side and not this side is because when you reinforce this wall, right? Let me reinforce it. There's an angle that they can have on the vault on like the little like ramp over there where they can if they shoot out this They have a whole angle into into bull. So that's why I like reinforcing that one instead of that one because they can't do that angle Yeah, let's uh band a trick See if I can put my ears to work here Sounds like this one Wait Wait, they double thatchered it, that's insane. And it actually worked. I wanna run out on these guys. I'm not gonna lie, I wanna play aggressive on this breach. Jumped in garage. And they're in bull! Yo, where's my team at? Where's my team at? Yo, no, this is insane. Like, how are they in bull? No, okay, chalk this game, bro. See what I mean in solo queue, bro? It's actually so bad. Look at the teammates I got. They, I can't even aim straight either, bro. I, like, there's nothing to say about them. They do the most unorthodox stuff. And they can't even shoot their guns either, it's like, bro. That's why I need to be the one that's running around, bro, because I'm actually shooting my guns straight. It makes no sense to me how that guy comes in the bull. I don't think I was going to kill the Thatcher, but I don't think the Thatcher was going to kill me. I was going to uh, stop peeking that angle because it was a weird angle to take that gunfight. But then I ended up dying to Deimos and in, 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 uh, bull somehow. But yeah, these, these teammates just straight up through, I'm not going to lie, bro. Like, they just played it so bad. Minus 15 again, bro. We're back down to where we started off or ended off at two episodes ago. So we're going to really have to bounce back hard next game. I'll see you guys there. All right, guys. We are in our second game now. 
hopefully we could win this out. I don't know if people actually really understood that what happened that last game as well, how they thermited the wall, even though I bandit tricked the right wall. I don't I don't really know if people really um took that in. Because obviously I was during the round and like there was a lot of shit happening, so I couldn't even explain what happened. But I bandit tricked the right wall. But the Thatcher's EMP was timed so perfectly that right when I placed the bandit down, it actually got it before it got the thermite charge. And so then the thermite charge ended up going off anyways. I thought for a second that I actually um messed up messed it up but then i seen that they actually did open up the wall that i heard it on and bandit tricked but they timed the emp so perfectly that it actually ended up still getting it um i don't know if people knew about that i don't know if it's a glitch or not but i've i've done it with twitch drones countlessly because obviously i'm a twitch main so when they would put a bandit charge um right when it gets placed down if i shot it as someone's placing a thermite charge it actually didn't it wouldn't destroy the thermite charge because i destroyed it just before so it was like that, that, that could have been the re whole reason why we lost that round because then if they didn't get the wall I wouldn't have to worry about the wall and like garage well the doc got, did gar die at garage but it would have been much easier because I would have had less things to watch about or watch but yeah that guy coming into bull as well that just made no sense to me bro like I don't know what my team was doing that entire game bro because they were just not they were just not here they were not present during the entire game bro I'm not gonna lie I'm just feeling twitch right now is it okay if I just main Twitch the entire episode, guys? Because I feel like Twitch is just my most fun operator, I guess. Like, Ash is fun and all, but it's like, I feel like the most confident and most useful when I'm on Twitch, I guess? I don't know. Maybe I'll play some Ash as well sometime, but maybe not Lair. I feel like Lair is like, Twitch actually is good on Lair. This is the first time we're getting this map in a while, though, for this series. We got a Thermite as well. We got Yana with Impact EMPs. I like it. There's this one specific play that I really like to do on this map that I'll show you guys. And see, and we'll see if it works, but usually it does. But basically, and I use Twitch specifically for this. I'm about to explain it before I do it as well. So I'd go down here, I'd shoot open this barricade, throw a Twitch drone in, shoot that camera right there, check if there's anyone I guess like in here. And check if there's anyone in here trying to place the nitro from underneath or something. Shoot this camera again with my twitch drone as well. And then go up the staircase over here. Check if there's any utility on the staircase. Shoot that camera. And then basically I leave my twitch drone like around here. Get off the camera. And basically make my way crouch walking up the staircase to try to make that play. You guys have a Cade and a Tubido. They also have a Mira. Cade is going downstairs to throw a Cade from underneath I think. I kind of want to go drone him out. Oh my god, he actually is. So I know exactly where I'm gonna go throw my twist on. I've never seen people place his cades from underneath. This guy went ace instead. Um, yeah. Oh my god, my controller drift, bro, is not okay. Okay, so let's save another charge as well for that cade. I could try to twitch on that mirror, but I don't know how well it's going to work. We're going to twitch on this, and then that K charge. Wow. Let's get that K off. Maybe, that, maybe that's going to help out my ace here. And then let's also check if there's any utility over here on the staircase, in which there isn't. So let's make our way now. Try to make that play. You kind of want to start to be quiet around like this area in case there's actually someone down here. But if you crouch walk starting from like around here and make your way to the staircase, usually it's pretty decent. Also, it's good that my teammates actually got the wall open. My teammate also got another entry frag as well. I got a camera on me, but that's fine. This guy is just lost, so that's fine as well. And let's drone again. There's a mirror right here. Get that mirror right there. Wait, when did the nitro come out and where did- what? I didn't even hear the nitro. No, that's bad audio. Oh my god, we just lost because of that nitro, bro. I think I- I think I got there as she ripped the nitro, so I didn't actually- I wasn't actually close enough to hear it or something. I don't know what was going on. And then we also got nitro from below. So that is crazy. That is crazy, bro.
What is that? That was like that was the luckiest round from them, I'm not gonna lie. That Valkyrie should have never even stayed alive. I think it's the fact that the ace only opened the outside wall, but he didn't open the wall that was like on our side of the map. Usually ace wants to get that wall open, right? But then he wants to rotate over to actually get that hallway wall open. Because you can't just have only that wall open and work off of that. Well, you can, but then that Valkyrie is going to be super safe behind that desk that she was. If we had the other wall open, the Valkyrie's not going to be safe there. So that was the problem. And then, yeah, that Nitro was bad timing on me, so I just got destroyed by that. Like, I didn't even see it flying either, so I didn't even... I couldn't even react to anything. There was just nothing there. Maybe if, like, from your guys' perspective, when you're more, like, able to see things from a different perspective, or, like, an outside perspective, you'll maybe see the Nitro flying, but I just didn't see anything. So I had no reacting there. Even if I did see the Nitro flying, I probably wouldn't have been able to get out the way in time. They're most likely going to be downstairs here. They have Fenrir, so I'm definitely going to stay on Twitch once again. One, I always see characters where I need to stay on Twitch for. And let me try to fix this control just once again. It's gonna be like a... Just like a thing for my videos now, I'm just spinning. It's time to spin, guys. Someone's yellow pinging something, I think, I think they're trying to spawn peek. Hopefully my teammates can get that. There's a spawn peak on this door right here, and it's honestly kind of hard to kill people on it because you don't know when they're going to challenge it, and if they even are on it. Okay, let's send a twitch drone over here and start droning out a little bit. So there's no fee holes on that, sometimes people like to put fee holes. Okay, they barricaded that off, so there's most likely going to be like a Fenrir or something on this. There is no Fenrir charges, where are the Fenrirs? And Kate is over here as well, so we want that Kate to not be playing safe over there, so basically we gotta push this. Okay, let's drone. I don't know why you would open that wall ace, I'm not gonna lie, but now I don't even want to be over here. I don't think that wall is really useful to open, I'm not gonna lie. Wait, someone's actually over here. This guy should be a free kill right now. There's no reason for him to stay alive. Wait, he just get- He just got out for free! That's insane! Teammates? Like, I don't know, bro. How was she- Yo, nah. Nah, bro. That's insane. That's actually so insane. Oh, this guy's using a Cronus. No wonder he's on Kate shotgun, bro. Like, Jesus Christ, that's so sad. Alright, bro. Like, nah, this game is also- <laughs> This game might also be chalked, bro. Oh my god, bro. I'm actually getting frustrated now in these series. Because, like, these episodes, when I'm losing, I'm losing so much, bro. Losing two games? If I win one game, I don't even get all the way- all that back. So I actually have to win a game or win two games before I lose one to really be positive. And if we're gonna lose two at the start of today, that's gonna be annoying as fuck. Oh my god, bro. And it's like, it's like, what do you even do? Cause you just get dealt teammates that are like, just lost, I guess. Because that ace, like, how are you even letting that K get away there? There's no reason why that K should've got away. I don't know why he was so scared of something, but like, when I ping him, that ace got to do something. He's got to make something happen there. Either you hold him and kill him when he wa runs back, or you get aggressive on that. I would say holding him and killing him when he gets back is the good idea. Look, my teammates are trying to surrender. They've given up. I'm not going to give up, but I'm going to definitely complain about my teammates, bro, because this shit is crazy. I think I remember seeing a comment as well, that someone's like, it's actually kind of relieving seeing like Noki actually get like mad or I guess annoyed at his teammates. Damn it, I wanted to get a sneaky drone in the girl and um, it's like... Okay, so... Let's try to take up top, I feel like. 
Uh, so I'm gonna go Jackal. I could try to roam clear up top a little bit. We have no buck or sledge or ram for upstairs vert control when there's a lot of vert that could be done on this site. So that tells me a lot already that our team is not serious at all or they're just not good. <laughs> Might be both. Basically, this is gonna be difficult. Is, that's is, is what I gotta say. This is gonna be difficult. Oh my god, they're holding up top. Wow. They're gonna be holding up top. Yeah, let's drone it again. I just wanted to take a bit of space here. Oh my god, that's insane. Of course I get hit marker. Well, my teammate did get um right back, but I don't know if this is going to work. Because I'm lit. That's the fuse already gone too. I literally have no play here because I'm just one shot. I don't really know what I'm supposed to do here. She's over here. I'm just gonna keep on trying to follow her footsteps here. She looks like she went down the staircase. I can see her laser. Ah, she came up. I mean, I was just one shot, bro. There's nothing I can do there. I also shooting my body. <laughs> I'm, guys, I'm dealt with a like a, a crazy team. Like you could shoot my body all you want, I guess. It's like there's nothing for you to be proud of here, guys. I'm just losing because my team is losing. Oh my god, bro. Um, yeah, no. I, I don't know. I don't think I even have hope that we can make this comeback. Layer is a defensor-sided map, I would say. And I'm still gonna try. But my teammates always give the first pick up. There's just no difference here. The team, the enemy team is just completely shitting on us. There's nothing to say and nothing to sugarcoat. Um, our team is completely separated. They're doing their own things. Um, if we really wanted to win, we would take up top with like a ram, all kinds of vert control. The ace wouldn't even be with me. I don't know why the ace pushed with me. Maybe he was trying to be a helpful teammate. I can understand that. But the ace should be the last person that's going to push with me up top. We had a Zofia, and, but she was like buck, and then she changed to Zofia, which is so interesting to me. Because I thought, okay, I'm going to go jackal when I see this person on buck so that we can actually take vert control. And then it just doesn't happen. <laughs> so who knows? Not really sure what to say about this game, I'm not gonna lie. Pretty pain it's pretty painful. I'm gonna try I'm gonna try my best anyway still. I think it's so funny that we're playing against like this Cronus user too. You can tell it's so obviously Cronus as well. I think it's not even about his recoil and his trigger finger, it's literally just his, his crouching. You can't crouch that fast without a Cronus. I think it's always funny to point them out. And I've always had a hot take about them, that like, Cronus users are, or Cronus and macro users are worse than Zim users. He could, he could be both, but let's say he, he was either or. If he was... If I would rather have him on Cronus or Zim, I would say Zim, I'm not gonna lie. Um... I would explain it, explain why, in more detail, but I don't really feel like it. Because <laughs> um, I've, I've, I've talked about it a lot of times, and people don't like my take as well on that. I think they're on that, are they on that pixel angle? That like, repel angle? No, they're not. This Jaeger wants to play with me. Gonna be on that. These guys want to get us out of here so bad. Me and this Jaeger are gonna just try to hold this, I guess. I'm holding this. Proned. 
wonder what that Dokubi is. If he's the She Love Land, that's the Konus user. And it would be it'd make a lot of sense why she's on Dokubi. This guy couldn't even get out this the, the site. I don't see these head holes here could be a really good thing or a really bad thing. I still hear someone outside my door over here. But I'm pretty sure I still have my beeper, so I should be good. Whoa, he just shit on me. I wanna see this. I can't tell if this guy's mouse or not, but he's for sure the Konus user. I'm surprised he's actually on Thatcher and not on Dokubi. <laughs> and then he also got a follow-up kill after that. Wait, how did that Mira not kill her? Wait, she might have got scammed on that, not gonna lie. Is this, is this winnable? I don't really like this reposition. This is a bad reposition from the Goyo, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, you hear her. They're playing aggro on you. A shot. Is he gonna get off the plant? He might have prone back through. I think it, yeah, he knows for sure that he's there. He's looking at the wrong thing. Wait, was he looking at the wrong thing? I can't tell. Well, he kind of was, because Thermite was in that spot that he impacted, I'm pretty sure. Because we were watching that hallway cam, so he didn't come from hallway. But yeah, I ended up clutching it. Good job. The, our mirror got hold on that kill though, I'm not gonna lie. That um... That also should have definitely died. I would have been pissed. Honestly, that gives me a little bit of hope that we can win this, or get come back, but... Do I think it's, we're gonna do that? Probably not. I'm not gonna lie, though. So probably not gonna do it. Um, I like that the Jaeger was actually with me. He might have died, but I like that he was causing that pressure. I think it's just the fact that he was playing a little bit too, ag too aggressive though. Mm, let's go Warden here. I like going Warden here because you can put your shield at um, Missile and you have either me or the Mute play there with a shotgun and just like it's it's pretty easy to hold. Especially if you're like a Warden so you can't even get flashed out. Anyone with a shotgun just kind of holding that area is just like, like what is the enemy team going to be able to do? So I'm, I might let the Mute, I might let the Mute play it though because honestly I don't really care enough, to, I don't really care to play it. But I will if he isn't. You can, like you put the shield like here. Hopefully one of my teammates goes for the hatches. I think if these two down here start getting a, a few kills, I think we'll be actually pretty set for like a, a nice comeback. Which yeah, we can't have our hopes that high, I'm not gonna lie. Because the fact that we just lost four straight attacks very badly as well is just not very good. I think our Rook is trying to spawn peek as well, so that could be really good or really bad here. It's such a default spawn peek, and I bet you they're gonna know. I think our Mute is gonna be playing there. I think he is. Okay, so where's this enemy team pushing? Let's hop on cams for a little bit. Oh, you got one. I wanna, I wanna ping those guys just to annoy them. Okay, so they are 100% pushing from warehouse. Our mute, wait, what is our mute ping? Wait, there's someone over there pushing there? I'll go double shotgun with you, mute. No way he's gonna push here, right? <laughs> he actually is over there. This 
lion wants to push here so bad. Oh wait, it's not even a lion. The hell? Guy wants to bait me out so bad. No way he actually got that kill on me too. Did I peek out that much? Wait, what? <laughs> did he even see me? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I didn't see him. How did he see me? What the hell is that? That's crazy. I swear he didn't even see a pixel of me. And he just shot. He just shot because it was one of those where he shoots because I shot. And I guess I died. I don't... <laughs> That is crazy. Alright, I guess this is not really my game. I'm not doing like horrible, but I don't know. I feel like I've been dying to a lot of bad stuff. And now we have to go this side. This side is definitely we have to roam, bro. Like we have to roam on this side. Do I pick the the, the vigil here or do I go like a Valkyrie? I feel like if I go Valkyrie I could get away with some kills here maybe. And just some good intel. By placing most of my cams like up top. The enemy team is smart by playing up top, I'm not gonna lie. They were smart by playing up top. I think it was the Azami and the Vigil holding up top. I'm so annoyed that a Vigil actually landed a boss she shot on me. That made me like literally not be able to like play that round. And then the, the Ace tried to get aggressive for me and it just didn't work. Yeah, let's try to put some Valkyms up here. I just don't know where, to be honest. I guess like, I guess like here. I don't really know. I'll try though. Let's put another one, like... Okay, well now, I have to shoot your camera. Now these guys are gonna definitely check for cams up top. I think I'm just gonna leave that one then. Wait, there's another cam there's another hatch I should get. I'm gonna get this, even though I'm not really important, but I'm gonna get this anyways. Will these guys actually push from over here? Or rush from over here, I wonder. I kind of want to... See if I can get a nitro from under here, but I'm kind of scared if they're pushing down here. Oh my god, I have a free kill right now. And that's the ram gone too. Oh, well, that should be pretty good. I knew putting a cam in like an area like that is somewhere they wouldn't expect. and But somewhere they would actually help on cams as well. I, I just I just knew that was gonna be a good spot, and it ended up working. This guy just tried to shoot at me. Okay, so I'm pretty sure they got the outside wall. Oh, so if they push in the site too heavy and kill our team, then I'm gonna be in a bad spot. It's another good nitro though. I'm gonna try to play over here and possibly late flank, but. A flank from over here is very, very common, so it's like, it, it probably won't work. I want to hop on cams, but I don't want to get caught as a free kill, or have them hear me. And yeah, one of us died as well. Okay, so they got one of my cams up top. I think I have to go back into sight. Yeah, definitely do. Do they have vert on me? I don't think they do. can't even see there. I'm gonna try to play off of him. Okay, nice. Cade got a kill. You can see his laser, unless that's on my mirror's laser. I don't like that mirror died here. Damn, yo, I'm getting shit on this game, bro. What are these pre-fires people are hitting on me? I 
Like, are you serious, man? See, that's why I needed the mirror to not die on me like that, because now this kid is in a pretty bad spot. Yeah, nah, this mirror got too aggressive, bro, because she should have known that she, she, she had to let the kid do some sort of, like, um, rotation back. That's why I was kind of just saving my body there, but the mirror got way too aggressive, bro. That's one of those, like, those plays where people are just not aware. Like, the Cade got one, right? So the Cade kind of knew that he needed to rotate back after that and play the 3v1 out. The Thatcher, um, he played played it well, but the Mira just, I, I, I'm gonna have to blame that round on the Mira. She just should not have given up her body like that. She definitely could have played it more safer, but she wanted to swing and died. And then it put me in a very bad spot. That guy did get a good pre far on me, on me, fair enough. But fuck, bro. It's like, it was just the early rounds, man. That's all I gotta say. Like, we just went down to 3 bro. It's like, you can't... Can't get, um... Can't get those comebacks, I guess. You know, when it's 3 in solo queue. <laughs> Alright, so these next two games, I'm gonna try to get my MMR back and actually be positive for the day, hopefully. I'll see you guys there. Alright, we're in our third game now, guys. Um... Also, I wanted to mention, I'm, I'm also queuing at different times than I usually do. I've never queued at these times. Basically, right now, it's like 11.44 p.m. for me. And usually, I queue for these episodes at around, like, dinner, I guess. Just any time kind of there. Dinner or earlier than dinner. Usually, anywhere between, like, um, what's it called? Noon and, like, I guess dinner time is when I queue. And usually, I get better games. You know, as you can see, it doesn't seem like these, these times are the good times. Because it seems like I get people that just don't really care um about winning <laughs> but yeah oh my god my win loss tanked bro it was at a 1.4 like two episodes ago all right we're on border i'm very comfortable on this map and um i don't know i'm feeling better about this game for some reason i just i just feel like i feel good you know maybe i'm just delusional but um hopefully hopefully that's a it's a feeling that's gonna bring me this victory <laughs> Because if I lose one more game, even if I get that last win back, it's not even going to be all the elo I, I lost today. So that's going to be very heartbreaking. Um, in every episode, my goal is to always be ending up or higher than what I started with. That's all that I'm asking for in these episodes. So we really need to win these last two games, or else I'm just going to be down on elo and it's going to be a little annoying. But yeah, I also never actually queue without recording too. I'm recording every single game. Um, there was a few games when I streamed or just didn't feel the game. There was like, no, there was, un there was only that one game that I didn't feel that game because I was getting distracted throughout that game that I didn't record or stream. But if I didn't stream a game, then I'm definitely recording it. I'm, I don't think I'm going to do a solo queue stream anytime soon either. I feel like too many people know about this account now and know it's me on this account now. So like, I don't really want to get stream sniped and deal with that BS. So I'm just going to kind of like keep this as recordings for YouTube right now. And that's why, I guess another reason why I don't really, haven't been streaming on Twitch lately, is because I've been really focused on just Bobby getting these recordings out. Um, I was actually thinking of making today's episode um, a three game episode, but now after, since losing these last two games, I really want to get two wins back. Because um, obviously the time, I didn't really want to record at this type of time of the day, but I knew I needed to record today um, at this time, so. And so usually when I record, I record the video of the day, and then I post it the next day. That's what I do. So it doesn't really matter what time I, I guess, really record if I'm posting it the next day. But I do like to record earlier in the day, so I have my like nights free to do whatever I want. So we have no breacher, so maybe my teammates are just straight up gunners. I hope so. I believe in them. I'm going to try to just do some Twitch droning right now because I knew there were Goyos over here, so. Unless my Nook just shoots them out, but I'm gonna I'm I'm shoot these out. Oh. Why is there a Mozzie Pest for outside? That's insane. Yeah, no, you're not you're not keeping my Twitch drone, man. What do you think this is? He immediately started to try to run, move it. Let's get these out of here and save my Twitch drone. Good first pick, Nook. These guys have head holes on, um, like this wall. I don't know. I, I, I'm surprised that people actually even add those head holes. Let's see if I can kill anybody off of them. 
Well, they have a zombie there too, so they can actually play it better. Let's be annoying and smoke that out so that they are worried about me pushing there. Okay, so, so last one's on the Azami barricade right here. She got first kill. Okay, nice. So my teammates are fraggers. That's that's a good sign. I have teammates that actually feel like doing something. Nice shot. Hopefully they keep it up at this like pace. Um, cause you know it could be just the round one round type of uh thing, and then it just turns to shit. You know, we we've had those before. Um, cause I think it's, it's kind of like they try to do the exact same thing and it just doesn't work because the enemy team ends up adapting to it. So hopefully my teammates kind of play this, play same aggression, but a bit more safer, I guess, and more, um, smart thinking, I guess. I think our Nook with the entry frag, I think she actually did drone out first before she got that entry. So, you know, as long as my teammates are, I see them like droning and like really kind of taking their time, then that's pretty good. Wait, I literally checked my phone for literally just a second, and someone said I just played you, GG, bro. I hope that wasn't the guy that shot my body that game, bro. <laughs> but yeah, I've been I've been noticing a lot of people have been noticing it's me on this account now. Um, I guess I'm, it makes me happy because that means like you know obviously I'm getting out there, but also like obviously I don't really. The point of me playing on Smurf accounts is that people don't know about it, but I feel like my Smurf accounts are very well known now, which is it's 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 fine. I get messages like on a daily basis on this account, and uh, if they are nice messages, then I'll, I'll respond to them back. But I think I'd rather respond to comments, I guess, on my YouTube than like messages on PlayStation. It's hard to use the keyboard on my controller, <laughs> unless I plugged in the keyboard to my PlayStation. But it's kind of annoying to do a key use a keyboard on a con with a controller. So these guys want tellers. Um, so we have vert play from the buck. I'm gonna try to get like maybe a first pick from here. So I hear I hear that shotgun, so it's either a frost or a mira. Let's go on that upside down repel real quick to check if it's a mira. And they also have a castle. Or I mean check if it's a frost. They have a mozzie again, but not a frost. Well no, they do have a frost, but she just didn't put a frost mat on that window. You know what? Let's open that window up. But then we're gonna leave. <laughs> Teammates are already pushing like workshop it looks like. I'm gonna be that sol the solo push I guess um, for this game so hopefully my teammates don't die too fast on me. Um, I could even try to take east control here. Oh shoot my teammates are dying dying. Oh my god wait I'm gonna have to join them now because my teammates are just dying. Don't die on me just yet Ash. We get over here. Let's drone it out as well, honestly. Yo, why did you get in my way, bro? Oh my god, I'm freaking out. Woo! Oh my god. My hands are so sweaty, guys. My hands are so sweaty. I really needed to win that because I felt bad for the TK on Ash, but I still feel like it was her fault for getting in my way. I had some, I had some nice shots on those guys. Oh my god. I really want this win, guys. That's what it, it means to me. It means to me a lot, man. It's gonna mean a lot if we get this win. <laughs> Sometimes it makes me want to like change the game chat and go listen to those reactions, bro. Because I know my teammates were giving some good reactions. Because I honestly, damn, I'm about to glaze myself, bro. But 
I had some really nice shots on that. I felt I was feeling super good with that gun. Just a little iffy about that last gunfight because it was really weird, but I ended up getting some nice shots during that. Was that a 4K? Yeah, that was my first four kills. Let's get it. Hopefully that's gonna be a very big like vibe bringer, I guess, to the to my te teammates to like or confidence, I guess, for like that we're we you know we gotta really strive for this victory, guys. We got a 4-0. Let's get 3-0, but let's not do no funny business once we get to defense. Let's just win it, type of thing. I love getting 4-0s, but I feel like in solo queue it's almost impossible to get 4-0s sometimes. Okay, so they went back in army. That's a good idea, honestly. I don't really know why they went bathroom, to be honest. Who is this? I want to go ping him. Let it go, yo. Yo, I don't, I don't really know why he's doing that. You gonna try to shoot my camera? Yeah, you're not shooting that. Is he gonna be still looking at it? No. Okay, yeah. yeah. Get back to reinforcing. Sometimes when they reinforce from that side, it, it tells me that they're gonna be spawn peeking from over here. But I guess he's only putting a goyo on this one on this door. I don't know why he wanted to put a goyo on that door so bad, but I'll just go twitch on it. This Ash also took away the reverse friendly fire. Fuck with it. Thank you, thank you, Ash. Thank you for the respect. Let's just destroy that goyo charge right there. They have barbed wire right here. They have another mozzie. This time, oh, they don't have a mirror. Okay, I thought they did. Okay, so it's a shame that they actually shot out the barricade a little bit because I would have wanted to go up and just destroy that barbed wire quickly. But I guess I can't. Try to shoot with some more goyo charges. That might happen. Ooh, this guy's on east. No, he's on. He's on break. He's like break. It sounds like. Um, I think we need to push that guy out, if I'm being honest. I'm gonna drone him. Ah, he tried to look at my drone. That was some good timing for us right there, me and the Nook. Okay, so one's in... one's in... Mountain. Is there anyone riding an office? Nope. No one's riding an office. They're giving up office for free, which is actually pretty crazy to me. Hopefully this buck opens the 90 wall. Get that open right there. Oh, we're missing the guns. So, Bandit's gonna be right here. I'm gonna try to call that out to buck. Oh, no. Interesting nitro. How's he not dead? Bro, can I not get an angle on that the bandit right there? I guess I guess not a hard enough angle on him, damn. Yeah. So that, that round we kinda just threw away if I'm being honest. Um, the easier play would have been for us to actually get that wall open behind the bandit or for me to go push that um, that outside like east balcony into archives but there was barbed wire there so that's kind of what kind of shifted me away from that I wanted to destroy that barbed wire but they opened up the barricade a little bit so I didn't want to give my way my body that quick we're still up 2-1 I still have a lot of confidence so let's play with that confidence I'm gonna go vigil again Sometimes when you don't see Vigil banned, you just gotta be that one to take advantage of him, bro. He's just too good of an operator. Um, sometimes. I think it's like all about how you're feeling on that day, if Vigil's right for you or not, but... You get one you get one shot with that boss G at hip or above sometimes, and that's just a one shot. Sometimes you'll get scammed by the boss G, but a lot of times it's, it's pretty consistent. If you get scammed by the boss G, sometimes you just you, you just deserve it. <laughs> because the boss G is just, just, just such an OP gun. And then same just being paired with SMG12 is it's kind of OP as hell. Oh what a cute camera. Goodbye. I actually want to do this spawn peek, I haven't done it in a while. Um and it's probably it's probably perfect to use the boss G for it as well. 
Hopefully I just don't have a cam on me. That's I guess the only thing that I don't want. If they have a cam on me, I'm probably a free kill. Basically, you open this up and you kind of look just look up here. Because sometimes people will cross into that right side and they won't look down here and you have a free kill. But I don't actually think anyone's coming over here. Yeah, let's back up before I become a free kill over there. Are they pushing over here? My god, they are joining me though. I don't like this. See, that's one of the ones. That's one of the ones. I shot him in the like the hip and it just didn't kill him. Oh my god, I thought I was going to down him, so that's why I swung out even more with that. Like, damn, bro. I, I literally just got the shot that I was just talking about. But at least that buck is going to be one shot, so hopefully my teammates, none of them die to a buck. That's basically all that's important. Yeah, my teammates are playing it pretty well here. I like that the dock reef positioned over here in the office. I think one of my teammates needs to play a bit more extended though, and so they, they can actually play off this dock a bit more. Because if dock gets just hard pinched here, none of my teammates can even help him. Oh, and somebody died. It wasn't to the buck, but I don't really know if that was the play from the lesion. This Doc needs to have like a really good play here. I do like his position, but it's all about how the Goyo plays it and how the enemy team plays it. Yeah, what the hell? Do we have any cameras? Okay, so we want we know one's top east or top metal. One just jumped in. He just jumped in. Just spam ping this guy. He's prone. Nice, nice. And our Doc got the heal off as well. Perfect. Is she gonna go office? Can I see if she goes office double? Oh, she's already in office. That's a bad thing. Mm. I like that impact from the Goyo. Oh, he got dis destroyed. Wait, why did he swing out so wide like that? The breach was open and he just swung out so super, super wide like that. That was not the play from Goyo. She just needed to keep on waiting on that half wall and not peek. If she plants, she's just going to be stuck behind the bomb, so there's no... I don't know, I, I think the Twitch wasn't really in a winning position, but we just gave her that winning position. I'm not really sure why that Goyo peeked out like that, I'm not going to lie. That was pretty bad. I, I mean, uh, like there was a lot of factors to losing that round. I think if I downed the buck and, or killed the, the buck, uh, we could have won that round because I actually would have been alive. So yeah, let's not go boss G for the rest of the game, just because of that. Um, somebody that could be good is, is Malusi, for sure. So, I'm gonna go Malusi. This guy goes Vigil? Yeah, you take your turn with Vigil, man, because, like, it didn't treat me right, man. Because I swear boss G shot should always be a one shot, like, hip or above. But then they just don't sometimes. I not that should destroy that camera or not? I'm so lost. I could have also done my zombie setup here. That could have probably been pretty good, but it's whatever. You want head holes there? I don't really know about head holes there. If anything, you should do head holes on the one that I reinforced. Those aren't really good head holes, if I'm being honest. Guys, I have three Malusis down st to, to put down still. I need I need some help reinforcing. Damn it. One Malusi I always want to put is this one over in Archives, but now... Okay, I didn't die. This is like one of the more important Malusis, I would say. Yeah, look at that.
Of course there's a Montang, bro. I just gotta leave. You serious, bro? I gotta watch out for other teammates, other people. I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! What is that timing? I just looked over there, and then she pushes in. I didn't even hear her jump in as well. That's some crazy audio, bro. Fuck, man. We're actually misplaying this right now. We're actually misplaying this as a team. This, this warden might die here because he doesn't even know the Twitch is behind him. He's dead. He's dead. Oh my god. We're actually gonna, like, choke this. This is gonna be actually so heartbreaking. Wait, this do dog is gonna die from the breach. Single wall is open, guys. Oh my god, we're throwing, we're throwing. Oh my god. Nah, we can't go up there again. We can't go up there. We gotta go like downstairs, bro. That was absolutely horrible. I think if I had my zombie set up, I wouldn't have that wouldn't have happened. But like I think my teammates should have helped out more. That's the thing. It's like the Montang was by himself in security for the longest time. If I just had a teammate that watched East for me, that never would have happened. My teammates were just sitting in sight, I, cause like I don't know. I just like it felt like they were just doing nothing that time, that entire time when me and Warden were trying to take care of this Montang. And then I got cut by timing on that Twitch. I didn't even hear her hop in. I didn't hear anything. She just kills me for free. Yeah, I'm gonna try to go Malusi again. Actually, no, I'm gonna go Legion. I'm gonna try to play up top. Because we have to play up top. Absolutely have to play up top. Nowadays, people are gonna take vert control like it's nothing if you leave, if you give up top for free. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna try to run up there. Fuck, man. This is, this was such a good game, and then all of a sudden we just turns to shit. I'm reinforcing up top here like it's armory. I'm gonna try to push onto this. I'm gonna try to push this strat up top so that my teammates kind of know that we need to hold up top. If they have a Montang, so be it. My teammates are making vert holes, but they're not even playing up top here with me. Hmm. I need more teammates up here. I don't know why my teammates don't see like this is the perfect thing to do is to play up top. I don't, I don't they don't they don't see it. I already hear like this mounting. I knew I could have pre-fired that because I knew where that Solus was shooting, so I knew it kinda had a had a possible freebie there. I don't really like that award and gave one back up. Or our vigil. I feel like he definitely could have played it safe. I also feel like these teammates could be helping me up top right now. I'm about to get, I'm about to get pinched up top. Or I'll just kill them. I swear I hear her. Try to just play it safe. Look at my teammates getting up here. Okay, my teammates killed him in the end. <laughs> it becomes a 1v3, and my teammates immediately start getting aggressive. Maybe they were trying to help me, but I think I was kind of safe there. And I don't know. I think I just didn't have a reason to drop the hatches because then it would have gave her the vert control. I think we go vents again. I don't know why these guys would go armory. I think Vents was the perfect thing to do. Yeah.
I really hope that my teammates kind of see that I'm trying to hold up top. Because that's obviously the winning factor. Because you look at the ops that they ran literally just now. If we if we give them give up top top for free, they're just gonna just dis destroy us. So that's why, like, cause they had a ram, they had a bana, they even had a monting for the roam clear. Man, fuck monting. I'm so glad I shit on him when he tried to ads with a pistol there. Yeah, hopefully my teammates kind of play a bit more safer. Our vigil kind of threw away his body. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, we're reinforcing the hatches again, I guess. It's, like, it's not like my strat of holding up top worked. Or something. He's even making these holes, but... Like... Reinforce the hatch, so I don't really know. He's reinforcing both, ha both hatches. Okay. Wait, why is he barricading that? What the fuck, I don't like this barricade. I'm breaking this shit down. I like these holes here. I'm gonna do these again. Is that Ram was getting shot from below with with the with the help of my teammates there? Wait, they're pushing on me. Damn, that was faster than I thought. That was way faster than I thought they were pushing me on. Damn. Okay, good flank, good flank. Wait, that's what she rammed? That was such bad audio, I'm not gonna lie. I heard that ram, but I didn't know it was there. Okay, well, they still have vert control. Good pick. Okay, so one's customs. Oh, slammed. Good shit, guys. Let's continue to play 90 cam for my teammates here. Ooh, one's up top. One's up top, Warden. Um, I think his body's getting shot. <laughs> Can't let that happen, teammates. Let's shoot her body back. Wait, she that was her second kill and she's shooting bodies? Let me find out. I believe in my team here. As long as they don't make it a 2v2. Oh. Oh. Um. Oh, you're getting aggressive here, Warden. This Dokubi's gonna be upstairs on these these holes. I'm afraid that she might get, get a kill up top from, up, from all these holes. So she might be able to just get a free kill on these upstairs bird holes. This warden's playing it way too aggressive, bro. You gotta chill back. This Dokubi's playing like a baiter. Uh, she could be anywhere right now. She's low key pushing from main lobby side, like courtyard. I think my doc is kind of aware of that. Oh, they're like bush both over here. Okay, and then the other one's bad too. Doc just has to keep his body up. If he dies, we lose. Hey, just stay in here, Doc. This is a good angle. Okay. Okay, Doc. Okay. Good aim. I mean, that Doc be. I don't know. The Ace also should have killed him. The Doc was one shot, and Ace had to just land one shot, but it didn't work. Oh my god, thank goodness we got that run. It feels like it feels like we got weight lifted off my back. Just a little bit. We still have to finish this out. And my teammates, we were pretty locked in on the attacks, so hopefully that keeps up. Oh, I like the Montang, I like the Montang. I'm not gonna lie, it makes me want to go Finko for him. Just like for the extra heals in case he gets like hit a little bit. But sometimes when I feel like I'm trying to help out these shields too much, they just end up dying anyways. <laughs> and plus, I've been feeling really good on Twitch, so I might kind of just stick it. I don't know, I guess we'll kind of see um, what goes on during that map. Because Finca is good because I'm going to have that nades. 
And I think the nades are going to be pretty helpful during this round because they're most likely going to go up top in armory. And if I push, um, like east side, that'd be pretty good. Yeah, so they're already up top in army, you could tell that for now. They already have that, they have that as zombie set up again. <laughs> Just making all those holes too. Oh, they brought a clash. Hold on a minute. It does make me want to change the Finca now. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. They also have a smoke, I think they were ready for us to go mounting. As much as I think I'm really good, gonna be better on Twitch, I'm gonna I wanna try to help out the team by going this Inca. And then I also see they put that same barbed wire down. So. What the fuck is that? There's no way she actually did that spawn peak. I never saw I never seen anybody do like a spawn peak like that. I'm not gonna lie. That actually freaked the fuck out of me. Is she peeking this? Oh, this Clash is just sh shooting to shoot to shoot right now. Go ahead and nade that. I didn't even destroy the barricade. No way this guy got shit on. Oh, I killed her with the nade, or what? Where's the smoke at? Could he be flank? They're getting aggressive. Yo, teammate, do not lose this. Oh my god, this guy blocked me from getting out of the way. Buck just straight up blocked me from getting out the way, bro. Oh my god, if we lost that. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Thank goodness, bro. <laughs> that would have been such a chalking round, man. I think if my I think if my Ash didn't even kill that clash, my nade would have killed her. Because my Ash downed it, but my downed her, but then my nade just finished her off. Thank goodness we got a win back, guys. Um are we at the same elo? No, we're not even at the same elo that we started with, because we're at 50. So if we win this next game, we'll at least be positive for the today, so hopefully that happens. I'll see you guys there. Alright, we're in our last game, guys. Um, guys, an enemy team look, uh, look sweaty. Feel scary. I'm not gonna lie, after that Lair game, I don't want to play Lair again. Lair is, I feel like, such a boring map now. I think I've mentioned it before, but I mentioned it on my stream, so maybe I don't remember... I don't remember if I mentioned it on my like actual series or not, but I mentioned it on stream that like Lair is kind of just such a boring map. No, so like I'll play it. I'll play it here and there, but then it's it's just like I don't want to play it again for the rest of the day if I do play it once. Clubhouse. I feel like it's always a map I'm down for. Remember that last episode, bro? I dropped sixteen and four, and we still lost. Maybe I'll try to play a lot of Vigil League in this game as well. Um. A blitz ban is interesting. I feel like Montang's more dangerous on like a map like Club Clubhouse. Mm, I was gonna say ban Vigil or, or Jackal instead because I wanted to play Vigil and roam around. So if they just started tracking me, it's gonna be annoying. But Montang is fine. I'll just deal with a Jackal, I guess, if they run it. It's just like I kind of I just have to keep in mind that they might bring a Jackal. Basically, is what the thing is when you don't ban them. Because even when Jackal isn't banned, he actually, sometimes a lot of people just don't even use him. Because it's like, they're not used to using Jackal, so like, they don't want to use him, I guess. If that makes sense. I think I think it should make sense a lot, because he's banned so much that people don't really main him anymore, or play him like that. So it's like, 
when he's not banned, you just still don't really care about playing him anymore because you're so used to him not being there. I don't think Twitch is even a good pick here, but I'm just kind of just picking it just to see what else my teammates pick first, and then maybe I'll kind of um, adjust my pick after that. Because if they go upstairs in cash, I don't mind playing someone like Maverick. Do I have Maverick? I don't play have Maverick. <laughs> maybe I could play Oso again, low-key. The only problem is if they banned a trick like the last time. <laughs> Be the exact same shit over again. Oh, this guy got Oso randomly. But he doesn't have impact TMPs. I do want to try my rush as well on this map, but I feel like it's a little too risky and a little too trolly if they're just prepared for it. Is something tell. Mm. Okay, they went downstairs anyways. That calls for my IQ pick. Oh yeah, we're, can my drone stop moving? Jesus. Yeah, I wanna... I'm gonna get my drone in the spot again that I've gotten before. Um, never mind, I'm not getting my drone in that spot. Let's just let's just put it right here. That's, that's good enough, right? Not really, but... I don't really like... Oh my god. Oh, what I was just about to say is I don't really like that the thermite climbing up there because sometimes there's an angle there's an, there's an angle if you open up this wall that you can see the person's head before they even get up there. But I guess good job on the thermite killing that person that was down there. Okay, so last person's Thunderbird. They didn't even put a kid on that wall. Let's just use my drone to drone it a little bit. Is there a kid on this wall? You yeah, know, I don't know why he pinged it. Not really, I didn't really mean to throw a drone, but... Whatever. Okay, so this isn't even cated. Okay, now let's, let's keep a drone with me. Let's keep this drone with me. What is the buck doing? What is he dying to? And let's get this... Oh, they ended... Wait. Oh, they tried to cage trick the hatch. Is he? I should get the kid. I don't really, I don't really like that. Our thermite wasted his other charge on that. Now we for sure have to push dirt. I think that's what I'm gonna do. It's just like if they're, if they're just waiting for me to be dirt, then that's gonna be annoying. Um, but it's gonna be, it's gonna have to be a fight that I take. Let's try to, let's try to drone it out. Maybe, maybe it's barricaded. Okay, it's just straight up barricaded, so yeah, I for sure can just push dirt. Yeah, I can maybe get a kill here. dirt by myself. I mean like, yeah, see, like once my teammates die like that, it's like there's no play for me in dirt, bro. Because they're just going to be so focused on me, man. And I, I heard that other person on my right side as well, so there was just no play after that, man. When I yellow ping that Aruni, it was me kind of trying to tell my teammates that get on my camera and start yellow pinging where this Aruni is so I can wall bang her when I get closer. And none of my teammates want to play cameras, obviously, and that's when you can really get annoyed in solo queue, is when your teammates are just not being good teammates. So that was annoying. And that was definitely a round that we could have definitely won. I think if our that there might actually went for kitchen hatch instead of the blue hatch, then we could have won. But I guess he was also expecting it to be cated and didn't know that I can actually get it off the wall for him. So yeah, it's just like, um, that's solo queue for you, you know, you don't expect your teammates to do stuff and they don't expect you to do stuff. So when you're a good teammate and they don't expect it, it's like, damn bro, maybe I should have done that. Like maybe the Thermite was thinking that maybe I should have got the kitchen hatch or something. But they, usually they, they don't like kind of like 
second guess themselves because a lot of solo queue teammates don't really do that. I try to second guess myself in terms of like being humble because I want to always see from my own teammates' perspectives on why they do stuff like that they do. Sometimes I can never see what <laughs> why they do stuff that they do. Um, let's go Habana here. It's a little weird, but I want to go Habana here. Yeah, because they're doing this castle shot where they hold downstairs, so I want to destroy those castles for sure. Let's do these Habanas like this. And then I'm pretty sure this castle did that little castle setup down here. How is our... How is our dog dying? Oh my god, I'm literally just... Like, this is fucked. I literally used my Habanas too. Fuck, man. man. What am I supposed to do here, man? Oh my god. Am I dying here? Dying to a spawn peak? It's, it's insane to me. No one should ever be dying to spawn peaks anymore. Especially when they're on a breacher, you know? Like, w there's no reason to be dying to these people. Alright, it's gonna be one of those cases again, I guess, where I try to- I have to try to kill this- the people in garage. Except this time I actually have no garage- no, no cam. She's just still holding it. I mean, whatever, man. This guy just... I don't know, man. Yeah, I knew she was running out of ammo. Look at that. She was her last bullet, and that was smart by his zombie, honestly. She knew I was going to try to pick the timing there, so she just held the angle and used the last remaining bullets. But yeah, this thermite getting spawn peaked is insane to me, bro. Like, that's, that's super insane to me, bro. Like, it, it, at that point, it makes me want to just play the hard breach, man. Because you can easily be spawning in safe locations. He's going Thermite again, so is he gonna die? Over, under, Thermite getting first picked? I'm gonna take Ash um, this round as well, because I wanna kind of play the way I play. And not kind of worry about trying to help out my teammates here. I also like playing Ash specifically for this uh, bedroom site. So if we can get this round off of these guys, then I can be. I'm actually, I'll actually be pretty confident going into our defense half, because. I could literally just sit on vigil and try to just doing that, do, be doing those like type of frags again. So if I'm able to do that, then yeah, I think I'll be pretty comfortable going to defense with a one-two. Now three-zero, that'd be uh, where we probably draw the line again because it's solo queue. So solo queue catching up on this type of leads are very difficult. These guys are doing fee holes in garage. Like, what is that? They're at bedroom, are they not? Or are they at bar? Don't tell me they're at bar. Wait, these guys went bar. What is this? Okay, so we have to take garage control, because I don't even know what this setup is. We take garage control and we're chilling. Setup, the setup seems pretty bad, I'm not gonna lie. Ready, just like from what I'm seeing. I want to know what they're doing those feet holes for. That's the thing. It's low key a long angle underneath that castle barricade right there. That's low key what they're doing. Wait, why is someone over here? What the fuck? I mean, I guess. They barricade that wall now? Okay. So they're giving up that for free. They also have a zombies though, that's the thing. Um, since garage is free... Okay, they TK it as well. That's pretty good for us. What I kind of want to do is I want to put a claymore over here at this, like, window up here. Just in case someone ends up, like, flanking or something. And then I'm also going to put a claymore 
on um this like ladder. I don't even think I want to work from over here. I'm not gonna lie. I think I want to get out of here. I just wanted to put those claimers down. I want to work. Um, I want. Well, first of all, I, I just want to open this door over here because now I know it's safe to put to push up here over here. That was interesting that the kid was actually there. Does this also want me to open this barricade for him? He should be over here. No way she shit on me. Did I not kill her, bro? I thought my Osa would have shot a bit of bullets in- Yeah, she did shoot bullets in her. What? That was insane. Our Dokubi had to barely hit any shots on her. At least we won the round. Well, I just took in our, our the Azami downed our Osa as well. My Osa didn't even get the refrag on her. <laughs> Alright, whatever. I got a kill at least that round. But yeah, I think my teammates just played that pretty well in general. Um, the enemy team tried to bunker much harder than they probably should have. That was a pretty terrible setup. Is like I didn't even have to really see their setup fully to know it was terrible. I'm not gonna lie. We're going gym and bedroom. I'm gonna try- oh, I'm a Lucy band. I was gonna say I was gonna try my Malusi setup, but I also could do this with Ella. The only thing is, is I kind of need to rotate, and if since I'm not bringing impacts and I want to bring barbed, I'm hoping that my teammates will make a rotate for me. I'm just gonna ping it. Not gonna lie, doing dealing with the solo queue lately. I've been I've been really looking forward to doing the duo queue series with Hitman late, next season because that's what the plan is. So hopefully he doesn't flop on the pl the plan. But the plan is that I might I'm probably not gonna do solo queue next season. I'm gonna do duo queue with Hitman. So obviously, we'll most likely hit champ much much faster as well. I'm being honest, because me I'm very comfortable duo queuing with Hitman. We have a lot of like set strats to do. I just don't like that I don't have any teammates that's going to be playing over here with me. Yeah, make it make it rotate, make it rotate. Yeah, there we go. I like that. Hmm. Of course they have, of course they do that. This guy hit both of these barbs. I literally put all three of my hella mines over here. I could peek. Oh, good night. I could. I'm saying I, I could peek this window, but maybe they might be watching it. I hear one on the roof. They're opening it up for me. Look at this bait. They probably have a camera on me. They do have a camera on me. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna take the bait. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna see, like, look, look at what he's doing, bro. He's trying to bait me to swing him, and I'm just not gonna give him that. What I could even also do is just completely back out of here. I could 100% just back out of here. You know what? Let's play it smart, guys. I feel like a lot of times you see people get too giddy after, um, picks start coming in, so. I'll show you guys to just stay, you know, passive. Just hold your own shit. Wait, there's one in Logi. Oh, I th damn, I was trying to go for that clip. I thought I was almost gonna headshot him. Nice, good job, team. Okay, that audio was terrible. That, that that gun from Twitch sounded like it was in Logi. 
So I got scared that she had a she was gonna possibly kill me soon. And like, I don't know, I thought she picked like a right timing for like the mute not be able to kill her, and that's why she was gonna be able to kill me or something. Sorry if the, you heard that. <laughs> but um Yeah. I thought like this Twitch was in Logi somehow. I don't know how that audio sounded like that, but yeah. I'm gonna go zombie here because the zombies are a really good pick for here. Um if we get like a mirror that would be really good. I don't like the castle, bro, because this guy's been a little iffy this throughout this game because he was that um he was that thermite from that one round and just just, just die to a spawn peak. I'm guessing this guy's staying on rook because he got two picks last round. I mean, so be it. Don't tell me he's gonna castle this door. Oh god, it's this castle again, bro. It's like we're getting the same castle players every time. This castle setup is going to be the end of us, guys. Now that I say that, though, it's just going to be, it's going to somehow win us the round. I don't know, I don't know how, but yet, how yet, but it's going to somehow win this round. That's a castle setup I can actually get behind there. That castle, sh but we don't even have a rotate. There we go. My rook, my rook is taking my angle, my zombie angle. Wait, actually, let's do this. Wait, we actually made a rotate here. I don't really like the, having a rotate into blue if we're giving up blue from this side of the map, you know? I feel like it's very iffy. Wait, I just see somebody? I did see somebody! I'm like, was that somebody or like a drone? She really just crouch walked through there without like... Wow, that's, that was insane to me. Is that my teammate's laser? Somebody might be in blue again. You guys are playing very, very like um quiet. A little scary. Was that Cade gonna play on my Azami there? Honestly, I might have fucked him up, but... I hear the- I hear another one up top still. I don't really know if this is gonna be the right spot to play, but I'm gonna try to play it anyways. Last one is. Oh, he's main stairs. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, I'm, if I just play here, I should be good. He should be down, right? What? Wait, my kid will kill her, right? My barbed wire killed the Tabana. <laughs> that was crazy. The gridlock killed me. But yeah, I, I I knew the kid was gonna get my refrag there. Well, like he definitely should have. He might have missed a few shots, but he he got in the end. He he got in the end. Okay, we're up three two. Pretty comfortable lead. It's calling for my vigil jump out right now, guys. Well, I haven't gotten aggressive th yet this game, but it's kind of calling it. Wait, maybe I do it with bandit instead, so it's less obvious. Let's do it with bandit. Wait, where was the kid at? This guy just changed the mozzie. 
Why are we changing a mozzie on cash? Interesting. Solus. Wait, we're not serious about winning this game, guys. We want to go OT. Doc, Rook, Zombie, Solus. Okay, a Zombie's good, but the other three, like, bro, what? You want to lose, I guess. Bro, why is this guy reinforcing beside me? I wanted to get this wall so I didn't have to get Garage. I want somebody else to reinforce Garage because I feel like a lot of times it's always me reinforcing Garage and I hate it. Can I go get my Rook armor too before doing the jump out? Why aren't these guys making a rotate for me? God damn, bro. It's gonna take too long to make the rotates. I'll, I'll make them. I'll make my jump out still, but I want to look for cams over there first before I actually get over there. Like that one right there. Cause there, there could for sure be a cam preset in here. Sometimes people do it. Sometimes a lot of people, they, a lot of times they don't. But if they have a cam in here, I'm just basically a free kill. I want, I want to really, I want to really see if I can get these first picks. I might have checked if this was vaultable. Wait, somebody jumped down. Mm. Okay, well I killed Finka, that's important. I also destroyed one of their Osa shields. So that should be good enough. What I've done for the team. There should definitely be headholes uh, where that is on. He's playing. Watch them run in. He actually did run in with the shotgun and he ran close. Oh my god. Okay, thank goodness he did not die to him. Oh shit. Rook! Oh my god, Rook. Oh my god, that aim was insane. Oh my god, bro. These are going down. Yes, start shooting your gun. Start shooting your gun, man. You don't have to ping it. Start shooting your gun. Hello? <laughs> nah. I'm getting sold. I'm getting sold. Oh my god. That's insane. They're gonna have an Osa shield outside to play off of. We lose this. Yo, nah. Oh, bro. I'm gonna crash out. Am I seeing? Am I seeing right? And people think this rank system is okay, and these people are hitting champ. This is insane. These guys don't even. They can't even control their guns. And and, and people are out here hitting champ like that. What the? Yo, I'm crashing out, guys. I'm crashing out. Sorry, like I, I, like I can't, I can't do with this anymore. Like what the fuck? What the fuck? The rook had the easiest kill, and he lost it. So then, if if the rook at least killed that person and then died, it would have been a one v one for the solus. And then the solus. She's taking her time, scanning to make sure it's the diffuser going down, and then starts teabagging, not shooting her gun. Yeah, okay, you might as well just throw the game at this point, bro. Like, j just get it over with, guys. If you wanna, if you wanna sell my elo that bad, guys, like, I didn't know I had such a bounty on me, my head right now. It's like, it's like sell this guy's elo and you get twenty bucks, I guess. I don't know what 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 type of stuff is going on in the black market, but my name has to be there for selling my games. I think these guys went bedroom again. Oh, no, I think they went downstairs again. We have no Habana again, bro. Chalk it. Actually, no, I think they did go bedroom. Either way, I think... I think this Vigil's doing the spawn peak prone over here with it. Oh, she... I'm a little scared. I know he's over here somewhere. 
Let's, let's bring out my scanner real quick. If I can find him. That's where the vigil is. Let's see, is he gonna have a scanner on again? Yep. There it is again. He's not even getting droned out, but yet he's turning on his scanner, which is pretty interesting. He's on a camera here. He killed somebody. My teammates are not real! My teammates are not real! What just happened? <laughs> what the fuck just happened? <laughs> Yo, I'm actually going to go insane. I am going to go insane. What the fuck? Yo, nah, bro. There is just absolutely no way. This is like actually just happening right now. <laughs> there is no way. <laughs> just, I can't, I can't, I can't hold in my laughter, guys. <laughs> like, oh my god, <laughs> no. <Nah. laughs> because I swear. <laughs> I swear he downed me and also TK'd somebody. <laughs> no, I can't. <laughs> I can't, bro. I can't. <laughs> oh my god, bro. I'm actually dying. <laughs> I'm actually dying, bro. Okay, okay, bro. Gotta try something, bro. We gotta try something. Nothing else is, uh, is working, bro, with my team. Their brains are off, bro. I I'm never queuing at this time of the night. <laughs> I'm never, I'm never queuing at this time of the night again, bro. I can't, I can't do this anymore. Let me get my armor before I get set out. I'm set out, I'm setting out and not coming back, I swear. Uh, I'll, I'll lay flank if I need to, but I'm gonna go get, I'm gonna go help the guy hatches. I'm gonna still have to try to win that game out, but honestly, bro, something has never made me laugh that hard, but something like that, bro. Like, like what, what the, like, what am, what am I even supposed to do about that? I swear I'm getting sabotaged. I gotta change my name, bro. These guys are purposely sabotaging me. It's not okay. It's not okay at all. I see that camera. How do we have another camera there? I'm gonna pre I'm gonna pre jump this. I'm gonna and I'm gonna I'm gonna just jump out and try to get aggressive fast. Give me that! Over here, Sabana and Flores. You fucking lose this, man. I don't know what I'm gonna do with myself. Literally, can't even get hatches no more. I'm about to just right here for a little bit. Okay, so they got dirt open. Sounds like they're in the garage. No way in hell anyone would, would expect this rat spot. Unless she, she might just push oil pit in general. I think that gridlock's actually pushing oil pit. I think she is. I'm gonna try to flank her. They be Ying too. Let's go, team. Was it really team or was it me with the first two pixeler? That jump out like always works, man. I swear. No matter what round of like um.
what, no matter what site you're defending, I feel like that jump out's always gonna work because people always like to spawn over there. And then, um, you know, let's not even have like high hopes right now, guys. My teammates are gonna find a reason to just throw this or something, bro. They're just gonna like do some dumb shit. This thermite's gonna get spawn peaked again or some shit, bro. Um, do I take Ash? I kind of feel like taking Ash right now. The only thing is, I want to take Ash in case they go bedroom. But if they don't go bedroom, I don't really want to play Ash. What I want, if they don't, if they go cash, what I want is our thermite to get a wall open before he dies. That's what I want. Is that too much to ask for, guys? Okay, yeah, they have an Aruni. Probably gonna have an Azami holding in garage again. Something's telling me to go Capital to take garage. Yeah, they have an Azami again. I can lie, something's telling me to go Capital so I can take garage. But I feel like I feel like my teammates just might die again, like too quick. Once again. <laughs> mm, nah, I'm I'm gonna stick to Ash, bro. I'm just gonna see how I, what I can work with the Ash. Is that a okay? No, nah, it is a zombie. He's doing that same spawn peak. There might do not die to it. Bro, I'm not gonna even get a lie. Someone just don't even peek to it. That's what I'm just gonna say. Just don't even peek to it. Like, cannot afford to lose any bodies right now. Is that Buck trying to look at him through the drone hole? How am I getting spotted? What cam is that? Is it over here? Nice guys, you found out I'm Ash. Let's see if this is preset for a jump out. Nope. Put a claymore on it anyways in case it, it is eventually. And let's check for this. Not preset, but let's put a claymore on it anyways. I think they're bandit tricking, so that's gonna be pretty bad. I might have to go underneath a uh, ash charge. Good pick, Buck. I like it. Okay, I'm gonna have to go below because these guys are bandit tricking, so I'm gonna go ash charge below them. So he shouldn't be bandit tricking anymore. Basically the thing. Where is our thermite going? You, he's still bandit tricking, Buck. Look at the holes above you, Buck. There you go! There you go, Buck. Oh, good night! Come on, team! Okay, Buck died below. One on that wall. Did we even get the wall open, guys? We didn't get the wall open! Thermite? Hello? Ben is dead, guys. What's going on? We're losing to Bandit Tricking Ghosts? Oh my god. I got caught by it. Oh my god. Fucking Frost Mat. You're lying. Thing is, someone has to play garage. But I'll try to watch anyways with the Osa shield. What is this Osa doing? Okay, now I actually have to get aggressive now. Give me that, yo, I'm so fucking locked. <laughs> no, my team, they were out to sabotage me, guys. Who made a parlay for me to win the game? Who made a parlay for me to win the game, guys? This is not okay. Stop gambling, guys. You're, you're throwing my elo. Stop gambling on my wins. Okay? You gamble on my wins, it's gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get teammates that are gonna make me wanna lose, you know? That's how gambling works, you know? If, if you know, if you sports bet, man, you, you know that's how it works, man. So stop, 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 stop gambling on me trying to win, guys. On a real note, guys, my teammates this today was just so interesting. Like, I'm actually really going through it now. I'm really going through it. <laughs> you could you could probably really tell the energy that's like changing in these videos now, bro. It's like I was like I was like I was like uh, so calm, collected, you know, just 
you know, minding my own shit, you know, trying to win, just, that, that was it. But now I'm just going through it, guys. I'm just fucking going through it. Anyways, guys, we ended up with 2-2 two and two again for today. So that means we're going to still be up for the day. We're up 19 ELO. But it's like, at this rate, it's like, damn, we're going to have to play a lot of games if we keep on going only 2-2 two and two every episode. So we're going to have to hope that next episode is going to be better once again. And maybe we can get Diamond 2. You know, it's felt like it's been quite the journey just from Diamond 3 to Diamond 2. But hopefully we can get there soon. And I hope you guys appreciate this uh, or enjoy this episode. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.